Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for an upgrade. Bam! There it is. What's up, disc golfers? Jake Leputka here. Time to build a new disc golf rack. Well, obviously it's already done. Uh, you might have seen the old video from the small rack, but that thing wasn't cutting it. I had discs everywhere in boxes and bins, so I needed more, more disc golf rack. So, as you saw, the other one was pretty small. All of the discs from that rack fit on this bottom shelf, so I have quadrupled the amount of discs I can carry. Maybe 25 bucks, and that's if you, we already had the tool to cut the PVC pipes, and that was 10 bucks in itself. So if you already have that tool, this is like $15 rack, easy. I've been trying to make quality content for you guys, so if you like what you see, hit that like button, consider subscribing. You can unsubscribe at any time. Okay, so we bought four 10-foot lengths of PVC pipe, three quarters of an inch, and T connectors. That's in that little bit. Oh, you need a cat, too, by the way. You need a tape measure, a marker, also a cat, and the cutter that I showed you earlier. So to start off, you're going to want to measure out three-inch pieces. You can make these racks as big or small as you want, but... Use the marker, measure it out, mark it, and then cut them. So if you want to make my rack, we needed 12 3-inch pieces, 16 if you wanted to add feet on the bottom like we did. You'll need 3 foot long for the uh, actual shelves themselves. I don't suggest going much wider than that or you're going to see some bending when you add the weight of the discs onto the rack. And then five inch pieces, we needed 14 of them. And then you'll use the PVC cutter tool to cut along the lines that you marked. It's really easy and a little bit of a grip strength workout, which will help you throw farther. Win, win. I just wanted to take some time to explain kind of the end piece. That's kind of the hardest part to do. So you basically need to alternate three inch and five inch pieces. And this is why. So. Your bottom piece is going to go out, and your long piece will connect to here, and then you have a three inch piece followed by a cross beam. And if you can see here, this is what the discs will rest on. Okay, and then we repeat that on this side. So you see right here on these two pieces is where the long piece will come out. Disc rests on this side piece and then above that you'll go with the five inch pieces. And then on top of that we'll put same thing, your next cross beams or the long pieces, I don't know. So that way the five inch pieces gives you more clearance so the discs aren't stacked on top of each other. So three inch, five inch, three inch, and then obviously your T's connected all together. So that's basically the entire design. Let's cut to a sick time lapse of Misty and I putting this thing together. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you on the next one. watching guys I worked until 10 tonight I work at 9 a.m. tomorrow that shows you how dedicated I am to getting these videos out to you guys so please don't forget to drop a like leave a comment hey comment question of the week I didn't think of one Missy Missy I need you Ooh, what is the worst kind of cereal that was a fun Facebook post. I, I have an answer. Fun. You can't answer until the comments. Ugh. She doesn't know the rules. Oh, I'm so passionate about this answer. But let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback on the random stuff. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. 
and let's keep these weekly uploads going, guys. Jacob Cutka out.